Hi everybody, uh, this is Sean, and today in video, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, we're going to be working on Video Pan. So, um, to start this, go ahead and import a picture, and uh, it can be used for videos too, but we're going to import a picture, and uh, it's going to be a picture of Stephen Colbert, just because uh, he's awesome, no other reason, but I will extend it here to about four seconds or so. Okay. Uh, video panning has, people have said it's really, really hard to do in uh, Adobe Premiere, but it's very simple once you know how to do it. And uh, what, you, what we're going to be working with today is all, all in under the if column, the video effects column, in effects controls, under motion. It's all going to be under here in position and scale. It's all we're going to work with today. Uh, of course, the video, uh, the video, and these settings right here is all we're going to be working with today. So, um, what you're going to want to do to start is you're going to want to make the video uh, picture bigger. You're always going to want it bigger than your screen. So, I'm going to go to about 160% scale, and I'm going to move this video all the way to the uh, where this is all the way at the bottom of the screen, the top, the bottom of the picture. So. And now, uh, if you notice here, there's these small uh, clock-looking things. And uh, what these are are your toggle an animation buttons. And by clicking them, you're going to create a keyframe, which is going to be used very important for your panning. And so, once you've created your first keyframe, what you're going to want to do is move the slider all the way to the end of your picture. Or almost all the way to the end of your picture. And then... Um, to simply pan the picture is move it in the direction you want it to pan. So in this case, I want it to go from bottom, and I want to move it to the top. So I'm going to move the picture down, just straight down to the very top, like so. And now, to these keyframes, from one keyframe to another, is to pan up the picture, just like that. And really, panning is just that easy. You create keyframe and you pan the way you want it to. You can also uh, add extra frames by moving it to any time you can move the keyframes up so if you want it to pan in half the time you move the keyframe up then you can add another keyframe by simply making another move to your picture so this time's right over and so now at first it's going to move up to down and then from this keyframe to this keyframe it's going to move over like so and really that's all there is to panning I, you can click the little clock thing again and get rid of your keyframes if you want to start over. This time I'm going to move it off the screen. I'm going to move it completely to the top so you can't see it at all. Create a keyframe into the video. Move it straight down. Like so. And now you can move it from off the screen and pan it so that it's on the screen. You can move the keyframe up almost directly touching and you can do a quick, quick flash flashes down so you can time it just by simply moving the keyframes over if you want you can move this slider over so you can see your uh, time better there's this little button which uh, increases your scaling here as for me I like to just kinda keep it you know general just the keyframes this toggle is your animation uh, this is, of course, your X and Y coordinates, your scaling. And with those uh, formed right there, that's all you need to pan pictures. And really, that's just, it doesn't get much simpler than that. And it's just a matter of understanding what the controls do. And once you understand it, it's very easy to do video panning. Well, this is, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have fun.